Welcome, my friend, to this special video proudly brought to you by GFM, United Prayer and Revival Ministry. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, and I'm coming to you from my hotel room right here in Pretoria. Um, it's my second day over here, and God is moving. Already deals are coming together, already ministry agreements and big things are happening. God is moving and is doing amazing things. But even as I woke up today in the morning and I was spending time with God, the Lord laid something on my heart that I should share with you. And I want to do just that. I'm going to share this with you and I'm going to pray for you that you will receive the grace in order to follow this. I want to share on honoring the anointing, honoring the anointing on anyone's life. Whoever is anointed, honor them. And I want to pray for you that you'll receive the grace to do so. And as you do so, you'll always receive and reap the benefits of that anointing. My friends, I want to start by saying, no matter what I've achieved, no matter what I've achieved in life, no matter how many TV channels I've been on, no matter how many stages I've preached on, no matter how big or how, how massive is my influence or my reach, I never look down on any other man of God. Even if he's a small time man of God, as long as there's an anointing there, I never look down on him. And the reason why I do this is because I want to set an example. I want to set an example for you. There's a, there's a time in the Bible that stands out to me, and it's from the Gospel of Matthew. If you actually just read through clearly, and if you read through the various different Gospels, you can get different takes on this. But when Jesus went, Jesus himself, the Messiah, when he went to his hometown, he was without honor over there. That lack of honor restricted the amount and the capacity of miracles that he could do. He himself, God, God in the flesh, was restricted in the capacity and the level of miracles that he could perform and the people that he could help because of a lack of honor. Wherever there's a lack of honor, there's a lack of miracles and a lack of the move of God. If you want to receive a miracle from a certain anointing or a certain grace that's been placed on someone's life, you need to honor that anointing. The anointing that you honor is the anointing that will work for you. I want to show you something. I've, I've, I've mentioned this before, but I want to mention it again. Let's look at the, the instance where Miriam challenged Moses. Miriam started to see Moses too much like a brother and become too familiar with Moses. And the moment she crossed that barrier and she challenged him, she brought judgment on herself instantly. She became full of leprosy. All over her body, she became white with leprosy. This is a symbol of what happens when you dishonor an anointing. Always be careful and always be mindful that if there's an anointing there, honor it. If you don't want to follow that prophet or that man of God or that pastor, you don't have to speak anything negative against him. Just leave him be and do your thing. Follow where God has led you to be. And always honor the grace of God in other people's lives. That leprosy was symbolic for the type of life you can end up living when you dishonor the anointing. Things can go bad for you. Think about it, my friend. If evil spirits are afraid of the anointing i've been in services in fact some of my own services when the the service starts the the power of god becomes so much you don't even rebuke any evil spirits and they already start coming out of people but if the anointing is already driving out demons and demons are that afraid of the anointing why are they that afraid of the anointing because they know this is power that's stronger than them and they should not touch it i want to encourage you do not get in a place where you challenge that power. As a leader, as a man of God, this is the word that I'll release. Where there's an anointing, respect it. Respect the man of God. Respect the authority. If you don't listen or you don't want to listen to what he's saying, then leave him be in peace and move on and go where God is leading you. In saying that, let's go into a time of prayer. And I want to emphasize that the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because I want you to be blessed. And some of you, the Lord has made it clear. The reason why you're struggling is not demons. It's not evil spirits. It's not other problems. You're looking for a problem where the actual problem is you dishonored a man of God. You dishonored an anointing. And that anointing that you dishonored is fighting you. Today, I want to pray for you that you'll receive complete forgiveness and a fresh start. And even as you begin afresh, your life will be changed forevermore. Are you ready? Let us begin. Let's begin by lifting up the name of Jesus. Let's begin by honoring God. Let's honor God. Let's lift up God. Let's praise Him. Let's honor Him. Let's respect our Lord and our King. He is a King. 
So let us begin by praising him. When the praises go up, the blessings come down. Now just lift him up in your own words. Father, you are my Lord and my God. You're the God in whom I trust. I trust in you and I believe in you. I believe in your wonder-working power. I believe in the power in the name of Jesus. I believe that you sent your son in accordance with the book of John chapter 3 verse 16 to come and die for me so that I could have eternal life. I thank you, Lord. Thank you for that. Thank you for all the little things that you do for us. Thank you for the things that you do for my dear friend. Touch and change my dear friend's life. Change my dear friend's life. Let my dear friend receive blessing after blessing. Even as they receive this message, as my dear friend receives this message. As your dear child, your son, your daughter, as they receive this message. Let them receive blessing after blessing. Blessing after blessing. I pray this in Jesus' name. And I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. Precious Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Come and take over control, Lord Holy Spirit. You are here, and I just welcome you. Thank you for your presence and your power. Thank you that even this video right now is anointed with power. For the glory of King Jesus. For Jesus' glory. That he will be lifted up in all that we do. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. My friend, the presence and the power of God is here. Now let us begin to pray. Let us go into a time of prayer. I want you to comment in the comment section and agree with me. Agree with me because there's power in agreement. And if you've got any private prayer requests, go to my website, www.gabrielfernandezministries.org. Click on daily prayer list, fill in the form, click submit, and wait for the green notification. Sometimes it does take time for that notification to come, but wait for it. That just shows you that it's been delivered to my phone. I'm going to pray for all the requests that have come in. Are you ready? Let us begin. Father, in the name of Jesus, right now, both myself and my dear friend, we start out by repenting. If we've ever uttered any negative word against anyone you've anointed, forgive us, Lord. Lord, us ourselves being anointed for the work that you've sent us out to do. My dear friend, being anointed to fulfill that purpose and that destiny and that vision that you've placed on their life. If my dear friend has uttered any words against any other anointed person, let my dear friend be forgiven completely. If that anointing has been fighting my dear friend, let my dear friend be released from now on. I pray this in Jesus' name. My dear friend, I want you to say this prayer with me. Say this. Say, Father, if I have ever uttered a negative word, or a slanderous word, or dishonored any anointed son or daughter of yours in any way, forgive me. Forgive me and change my life forevermore. I realize my wrong and I choose not to do it again. From this point onwards, I will not do that again. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. My friend, I want to tell you something. There is power and there is anointing available to those who believe as you believe you shall receive as you believe your life shall be changed forevermore but if you don't believe if you doubt then you get into a situation where you become like a wave of the sea that's blown and tossed by the wind what does this mean the wind is different doctrines coming up against you and you can't stand your ground if you doubt because the doctrine will come push you this way that you believe and then someone else will come push you that way you don't believe anymore and you're blown and tossed by the wind but if you believe and you become anchored in your faith you say no matter what I will believe in the Christ I will believe in Jesus then you will be standing strong and you will receive miracle after miracle your life will be a miracle and now I just want to pray for you I want to pray that even as we've removed any dishonor that you've placed against any man of God or anything that you've done against any anointed person of God I want to pray for you that your life will prosper. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my dear friend. Lord, even as my dear friend has made uh, their slate right with you, their life right with you as they've repented and come back to you, Lord, I pray that you will bless my dear friend who's watching this video. Let my dear friend be blessed abundantly, abundantly, abundantly in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I thank you for it, Lord. 
But dear friend, always remember, as you honor anointings, doors within that anointing, doors of blessing that have been opened to that specific anointing will also be open to you. Honor people around you. Respect and honor them. Don't cross boundaries that you're not supposed to cross. But live your life after the leading of the Holy Spirit. Follow the leading of the Holy Spirit and your life will never be the same again. In saying that, we come to the end of this video. I decree and declare you are blessed and you cannot be cursed. Your life is blessed and it cannot be cursed. That can never be changed. What God has given you, no one will steal from you. What God has given you, no one will steal from you in the name of Jesus. You are going up and you are not coming down in Jesus' name. You are going up to the top. You shall, you shall achieve great things in life in the name of Jesus. Your family shall be blessed. Where there's been fighting, God will put happiness, peace, and unity in Jesus' name. God said it. I believe it. And that settles it. Until we meet again tomorrow, God bless you, my dear friend. And goodbye. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, shalom and goodbye.